Hi, we are on uh, Linux Mint 17.3 and um, nothing has been changed meaning it's still the normal uh, kernel you know it's a clean install just to change the wallpaper installed Kazam just to make a movie for you guys so this movie is going to be about Sardi at the point of time it's uh, December 2015 surely the, the Sardi icon team will be developed further so you're going to have to type Eric Dubois Sardi and at source forge it used to be on github but at this point in time there are problems oh yeah we still have the yahoo as a search so github is not a good one not until it's fixed this might be a good one but we still have to no there's no problem here's the link Sardi so projects Sardi will get you straight to SourceForge we have now 4.0.3 this is an old movie we're going to make a new one for Linux Mint 17.3 and explain some stuff let's not wait another three seconds what you need to do already is go to the home and check in your hidden files if there is a dot icons so normally if you installed it just now you have to say create folder dot icons and now Linux Mint knows whatever is in there is the one that goes first is the one that he is going to show you so let's hide everything in back, Control H, downloads, right mouse click, extract here, and all you need to do is go inside, select all, Control H, A, or this one, and then cut, go to the icons, I have here a little shortcut, so Eric H. Control H and then you see the icons here. We don't need you anymore. And you paste us the Sardi icons all in here. Just a quick thing to tell you. Sardi is the bulk of the icon. Meaning bulk that it has many folders. So I started from this one which is actually the artist icon team. I changed it a bit to my own icon. Okay. Then I found that I could be I was able to make other folders rather than the Sardi blue folder I took the Faenza black folder then I thought maybe in Sardi flat maybe without the white border it will it look better so I made that one don't think I, I uh, edited all these uh, icons it's just a uh, text file you can put a batch a code on it and then everything is gone again uh, flat 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 but then with black folders Sardi Ghost is quite uh, different it's all white Sardi Grey is again on Sardi but with grey folders Sardi Mono is the same as the Sardi but then everything is grey and I made this yesterday Sardi Mono Mint X Grey because I like the Mint X Grey I'll show later and then Sardi Mono is again on the Sardi Mono with other maps Sardi Orange on Sardi with orange maps, Sardi Red, Sardi with red maps and Sardi Vertex Sardi with another map you can always know why because there are only two folders inside meaning there is only one item that is changed the places meaning the maps and stuff, stuff like that so you can actually the, the team there are one Sardi, two Sardi flat, three Sardi ghost, four Sardi mono, and all the rest is dependent on those four. That's act actually what the basis of the Sardi team is. Now, without further ado, let's have a look at it. So, themes we have, um, okay, something to see like that. 
So Mint X is, is great. Like I said, I like the Mint X gray. So I've made one here in Sardi. So Sardi, that's the look of Sardi. If you go to the menu, you should go to the menu. You will see that all icons have these circles. When you download the Ardis icon team, you will see that these ones are not circles. And that's what I hated. I didn't want these small uh, icons there. I wanted the circles as well on this uh, level. So I've just deleted the small icons. So, Sardi. Alright. Sardi, Fayenza Black. Like I said, it's the Sardi team with maps that differ. So everything is the same, only the maps change. So you can make it yourself if you want to have other maps, just put them in places. Sardi flat is without all these white lines. Okay. But it's a blue map. But going to Sardi flat black, if you rather have this look, then you can. You have to make a new map called Mana called Sardi flag, flat black and then just change one thing the places so it's really flexible like it. and then Sardi ghost is my my little child but you have you need to have a dark theme otherwise you can't see the maps and the folders but I really like this one I have I seem to have it many computers and we'll have to talk about that later it's not the themes mistake or the programmers mistake it's uh, but we can solve it okay Sardi ghost Sardi gray is again Sardi with gray maps so uh, the one is dependent on the other so if you delete this one well I think four or five of the themes will be broken because this one is getting the menus, this icons from Sardi itself, and only the grey maps from Gar from the, this folder. Sardi Mono. Okay, let's look for Sardi Mono. Did we already? No, we didn't already show it. So it's all greyish. Inkscape has made them all grey, but some of them not later when Sarda Mono X Gray is my lover at this moment as you can see you have here all kinds of gray which is mono but then this one this part is coming from mint X gray which is also a possibility if you take mint X gray you get these icons here and by the way you have also these little actions on the top of some of the menus. If we take Sardi Mono Mint X Gray, that changes here, but also some of these, as you can see. Not sure if, if I'm going to keep them like this, with these little icons here. And then Sardi Mono Vertex, that's again. Sardi Mono, but then with other maps. And Sardi Orange, it's just alphabetically. So it's again the Sardi team with orange maps. And then Sardi Red for the people who like it red. And Sardi Vertex, which is the Vertex folders. So that's pretty much it. Let's end the movie here and tell you about how to change these little items like uh, backup here and a lot of icons are not the way they should be.